Good evening, peeps. My name is Scripps, and welcome to Tender Creature Comforts, a game that came out just yesterday on Steam. I just saw it drop, and then I wanted to play it because it looked sort of cool. It's a narrative game, and in case you can't tell, then it's inspired by Tinder, of course, like all the different swiping dating apps out there, dating slash hookup apps. Um, I have not had a lot of experience with like Tinder or the such, but I have had to use a few of those swiping apps just to get to know people because especially when it comes to people in the LGBT community, if you want to get to know people, there's just not a lot of options out there except those kind of apps. So I have a little bit of experience uh, to, to, to gather from, so maybe, but yeah, Creature Comforts is about aliens, I think. So we're just going to get to know a bunch of different aliens, but okay. It's not very usual that you like write your username or something in, 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 in like a dating app or something, but I'm gonna do it this time around because I'm not gonna share too much information with you guys. And select a profile picture. Wait a minute. Is this like Among Us or something? Oh, I will say those look actually really cute though. This is actually like the type of pictures that you'd almost find on like a dating app or something. I almost have to pick this one because in every single selfie I take, I do the V for victory sign and I don't know why. Create your profile. Uh, I care a lot about my work. I also care a lot about you. Mm -mm. I got a lot of bruises I can't account for. Sweatpants, any other pants. When you come to a fork in the road, take it. But a fork in the road, you have to pick like a specific... N yeah, never mind. Now, this is where you're gonna get to know a different side of me. You gotta get to know flirty scripts. But yes, sweatpants, any other pants. People call me in the evenings, but you can call me scripts. Rewatching The Office again. I don't care where you're going, but you gotta be... Or you, but you better be going somewhere. Done with short stints, looking for meaningful investment only. You know what, no, let's be more, let, let's be more flirty about this. Done with stints, looking for meaningful investments only, sure. Uh, no Gemini's. <laughs> I'll beat you at Monopoly, my sign is danger, falling rocks ahead. Not, not here to match, please swipe left. What? This is actually like something people will find, or you'll find, there's so many of those like, gay dating apps or something where it's like, oh, what are you, are you an Aries? Are you a Gemini? And it's like, I don't know, man. <laughs> I'll beat you in Monopoly. Yes. Swipe. Swipe right to like someone and swipe left to reject. Holy crap, that was quick. Matches. When creatures like your back, they'll appear on the matches screen. You have one waiting for you right now. Really? My name is Annie. I'm here to help. I normal, normally capitalize sentences. I What? Capitalize? Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, I actually do that. Um, I'm also one of the very few people I know who actually use like periods and stuff. I normally do not abbreviate, abbreviate words with your and your. Oh yeah, I probably do it like that. But yeah, there we go. Hey there, Scripps. Welcome to the Tinder system. My name is Annie. I'm here to help. Nice to meet you, Annie. Oh, damn. Okay, <laughs> I like that. Hello, how are you? Right back at you. Oh wait, you're actually like a person, you're not just a bot. I see, you've uh, I see you have your profile ready. Let's complete the rest of your visa application. You can tell me what brought you f to Comfortix? What? My partner and I broke up, it was mutual. Let's not beat around the bush here. My partner dumped me. I'm sorry. Lol, lol, Tender will help get you through this difficult time. What is your ex-partner's name? What? <laughs> Why? Uh. Jeremy the shark. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna be able to take this seriously. Thank you for sharing. Let's take a moment and say goodbye to Jeremy the shark. Great, now you need to get back out there. What are you looking for? Uh, I'm not very much of a hookups person, so I'd, I'd love again, I guess. The tender dating community is perfect for you then. Your visa has been approved and you're clear for dating. Wait, why do you need a visa? Thanks for the help. I don't know, I, I feel like I, I got this though. I feel like, like, ho like, how hard can it be, possibly? My pleasure and job. <laughs> well, you are right about that. Happy hunting, stay chill, and let me know if you have more questions, XD. I'm surprised that wasn't an option of one of the different things I'm gonna... I, I, I'm gonna slay. <laughs> but let's get to it, folks. Let's get out there in the world. Let's finally get over Jeremy the shark. Just toss him away, and let's get back into dating business. Courtney, 22, busy mom slash dad. Y are you Nemo? Or, or are you like the dad from Nemo? Isn't it something about like clownfish? They take care of their kids quite well. I don't really know, but I'm not really a clownfish kind of person. I love our sci-fi, pulp, and pop culture sliding between dancing and the... No, I'm not gonna go with that anonymous profile, dude. That's just... That's just swiping 101. I mean, you do have that like Rick and Morty plumbus look to you. And I'm into that. And you also seem very confident. But for now, I'm gonna pass on you. Maybe I get some options later. Jackie29? 
and just uh, Jian Li a uh, Byron, but, but uh, you don't. I I will say I'm into your style. I like your style, but I you don't put anything in your description. Ooh, recent communication scratch has got my first advertising gig. Lonely re replicant looking for someone to mold to. I don't know, but you look cute, so sure. Oh my God. Bertram liked you back. Oh, that's nice. Joffrey, 22. I have trouble opening up. I don't even know who is you in this picture, but no offense. It, of course, alien dating requires a lot of open-mindedness. I got eight eyes, but I'm only looking for one. What? Also, it doesn't work when it's group pictures. I don't even know which of these. Oh, that's probably you, isn't it? Oh, oh wait, it's a cardboard cutout. I get it now. I get it. Oh, I accidentally, I didn't mean to actually throw that one away. Plant-based Libra. I have a cat named Chairman Meow. You two better get along. Okay, I mean, I'm a vegan, so I don't know how you, well you'd get along with me if you're made of plants. But you know what? Let's check in on Bertram. Hello, Bertram. How are you? Recent communications gate uh, unmet. Ooh, send a message. Oh, this is always the scary thing, right? You always gotta, you're always sitting there like, oh, is, am I gonna be the first one to text or is, are they gonna be the first one to text? Oh, I don't know. Hi there. How are you? And a big smiley face. There we go. Hey, what's up? Oh yeah, this is a slow kind of start to conversation. I'm looking to get back into meeting people. Ugh, feeling kind of lonely, I guess. I recently arrived here, so I'm still getting the lay of the land. Yeah, just, you know, be casual about it. Don't be, don't be gross. Glad you made it. We're a pretty chill planet. Got any, gone on any dates yet? Mm, no. I'd be open to showing you around, but don't think this is serious. I'm mostly bored. Oh. Oh. Great, man. I mean, friends are nice. It's just in my bio. I, it said literally on the page that I was looking for something more serious. Look, Bertram, I have no problem with you. Actually, you know what? It's fine. Let's be friends. Are you gonna... Is he actually gonna show me around? I don't know. I have no idea. I should be free sometime this week, and we can see where it goes from there. Uh... Hmm... It is a little quick on the trigger, I will say, to go on a date with someone after like a five text conversation. So I'm gonna keep browsing a little bit. Just got back from a mission trip to Earth. You'll always be in my heart, kiddos, Jeremy. Oh, well, no, is he a widow? I hope not. I also really like the art style of this. It reminds me of like a show called, um, what's it? The Midnight Gospel, which is really great. Um, I highly recommend you check it. It's like an animated podcast. Always check out dead things on the... Okay, Ken. Lonely Kawaii Neko searching for full human to love and... Oh, I wouldn't mind unless this is like a role-playing thing. Are you actually... It's just guy19. I'm not gonna judge your name. But if it's just cosplay, I'm, I'm a little... Or role... I'm a little... I'm a little... A little worried by that. Not that I mind other people role-playing. I am not shaming anyone. Oh, she's cute. All you can eat sushi. See, now... We're getting into something. And you might think, oh, well, script you're vegan. You can't eat sushi. There's so much amazing vegan sushi as well. I wonder how many of these there are. Seth26, don't like smoking boil talk, send me, uh, send me something meaningful and serious or you're wasting my time. All right, smarty pants. Paul19, I'm a law student, so here's a joke. What did the lawyer call his daughter? Sure. Sue, swipe right, please. Uh, yeah, no. Hey, that used to be my name, Noah, 20. Um, Torah loving feminist seeks life partner for long shaboos and Netflix hangouts. Still sort of the profile picture that's lagging, but no, I didn't mean, God, well, now I threw it away. Hi, Adam29, ghost of a to- I don't know, but that, it's not body pillows. Actually, I have a problem with, I actually know people that have body pillows, but that one is just, it's just something about that one. I, 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 I think it's so weird. Penny, one mile away, be my friend. Um, sh sure. I, I could be a friend. Punk Barbie, art school kid, ENTJ. That's also something you'll see, like the MBTI test results here. I'm an INFP, by the way. Uh, chaotic evil. Hmm, bad. But does that say bad boy on the freaking license plate? Oh, man. John 32, five, a relaxed couple looking for a unicorn. That's also the thing. Whenever you're like on a lot of uh, gay dating apps, and it's also completely fine. I don't judge co polyamorous couples at all, but it's like on these swiping apps made for queer people, there's just a lot of polyamorous couples looking for a, looking for a third party in them. Teddy 22, the cool school we rule. Let's play Say Hey Bay. Tender poet open for submissions. I don't know about that, buddy. But I think your design is great, so sure. 
<laughs> Carol 21, a single-celled organism living in a multi-celled world. Oh yeah, that would be difficult, wouldn't it? Willa24, looking to try new foods, uh, go to shows, drink herbal tea, dismantle the system of colonialism while watching Nature Docs. Not my baby, by the way. Um, sure, I'll talk to you. Cody23, introverted extrovert, sapiosexual. Sapi. So you're into humans? Is that what sapi- I, uh... Sapiosexuality means that a person is sexually attracted to highly intelligent people. I'm sorry, that will not- That is the weirdest fucking picture. But yeah, no, that- you won't get that from me, I'm sorry. <laughs> Kenji20, eats too much cheese. 19 feet! Oh, Kenji, look, I was all for like the- 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 the cool gothy look, but my god, I cannot- who, who can fulfill 19 feet? <laughs> Esme24 um, Publish poet cats that are total mess Message me so I can overlize every single thing you say until I die Not looking for a hookup I don't know where your body begins and starts But I'll say yeah sure I'll tend to hibernation for the next few months Could really use some more I really like this It's just like a, the most casual game in the world Karma 9 And then funny thing I haven't even talked to anyone yet It's actually like a dating app You just sit and you just watch at the at matches That's all you've been doing the entire time <laughs> Mature from my age Just ask your mom But no Now I can't swipe right anymore God dang it Oh Penny um, actually wrote it. Okay Hello Penny How are you? Be my friend lol Um Okay scripts uh, Don't panic Don't panic Let, You know what let's start off with a singer How much does a polar bear weigh? Sure, let's ask that. I'm sure we'll 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 get a, a response right away. <sighs> okay, I'll just uh... okay, I'll just I'll just go back. <laughs> I'll just go back. They send you a message. It's even like realistic in that they don't write you immediately unless you're like writing them at the same time. I really how much. Enough to break the- Ah, oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Name Scribs. Oh, that's a fucking zinger. I like that one. Hello, Willa. Oh, Jesus Christmas. Cute. I'm Penny. Um, oh my god. Okay, people- Oh my god. Never mind. I'm, I'm getting freaking bam blasted right now. I'm hi- Wait. For a few minutes. This is what happens when I swipe at parties. I can't talk now, but I'm also not ignoring you. I'm hiding in the bathroom for a few minutes. What? Penny for your thoughts. Am I gonna keep going with the puns? Is that just the act that I'm gonna be playing with, with this one? It might be. It might actually be. Oh god, no. That's a good response. That's good. Getting SpongeBob. That's a good response. Oh, this actually makes me like draw back to like my teen, to like my my youngin days. Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah, she's cool. She's like smoking a cigarette and stuff. I forgot. God dang it. I'm not nearly cool enough. Oh hey, but Teddy liked me. I can I can keep talking to people. Isn't that wonderful? Um. Oh wait, he didn't write me. Okay. Ah. Uh... Can I hear a poem? Ah, that's a lot of pressure to put someone right at the beginning of a conversation, isn't it? I got a poem for you. I don't, but I'm hoping the game will craft one for me. More likes available. Start swiping now. No! No, you bastard! How dare you! Oh my god, I have. Um, I'm right here. What's that supposed to mean? Should I like you to- Okay, I liked it, just because I love intrigue. Ooh, that's... I don't like- I don't know if I like that, that's weird. Hi, you're just straight up human. I'm living my life to the fullest, sharing laughs, making sure I have no regrets. Samuel... You do look kinda cute though, I gotta be honest. You kinda like a human, and I got a real thing for like, human people. I don't know, I just... It's just me. Oh, Teddy wrote me. I'd love to hear it. Okay, great. Um... Oh my god, no. Sure, 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 sure. We can always just leave. Just If, if this turns into catastrophe, we can just leave. Glorious, absolutely ducking glorious. You yeah, definitely missed your calling. Yeah, I did. People tell me that all the time. I thought it was terrible, but thanks. <laughs> that would actually be my probably uh, honest response. Oh, not at all. I want to hear more of your poetry in person. Um, Are you like... Oh yeah, wait. Are you like one person? Or are you like a conjoined twin? Or is it just like one? I don't know. 
But you know what? Sure, Teddy. Uh, I want to hear more of yours too. Anything to get me over freaking Terry the shark. Go on a date with Teddy. Sure. You have a date schedule with Teddy. Begin date. Oh, wait. Will it actually be like a dating sim? I arrive at a slam poetry event Teddy invited me to. Teddy walks up. Scribs, you got here. I saved up some seats. I glance at their two heads. Um, yeah. I mean, sure. For clarity, I'm Teddy. He points towards the head on the left with glasses. I'm Amber. I won't butt in on your date, <laughs> says the head on the right. Uh, nice to meet you both. How are you guys? I, always, I, I do imagine dating like a conjoined twin would be quite difficult, but hey, I don't know. I don't, maybe, you know, think, love finds a way. I follow them to our seats. These two were second in lineup, so I'll be backstage to start. You're sitting next to my friend Erin. She'll take good care of you. They run off. I turn to my left. Hey, I'm Aaron. Is this your first lamb? Ah, uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> You're in for a treat. How long have you known Teddy? Ah, uh, this is our first date. I think it's a date. What? That's so amazeballs. The first stop is Will, so prepare to hear some intense stuff. I prepare, I prepare myself to hear some intense stuff. Is this written for, like, every one of them? No wonder it's, like, only text. That would be so much to draw otherwise. The show begins and the poets make their way up one by one. Recipe for me, I remember the first time I was loved loving. I snapped my fingers. <laughs> Can you sever the connection? I cannot connect to several people. I need your love severely. I snap a finger. <laughs> that last performer was terabad. Honestly, she whispers in my ear. I search around for Teddy. Did Teddy cheat on me on my first date? He appears on stage solemnly and steps forward. Living in the same body, living in the same body, he and Amber say at the same time. I whoop! <laughs> he likes staying at home, she likes going out. He needs to hear I love you to feel safe. She butters both sides of a grilled cheese? I holler? This is so weird. At the conclusion, they leave the stage to applause. A few minutes later, they take the seat beside me. How were we? Hmm, it was magnificent. I mean, it, I mean, I guess you would have a lot of like poetry stuff you could say if you were lived with or literally shared body with someone else. We are pretty amazing. We resume watching the slew of poets continue to perform. He moves to hold my hand. Oh, I give him a squeeze. That last poet takes a bow. How do you like it? So much raw vulnerability. Yeah, it's so intense. Scripps was so into it. Yeah, that's what we go for. Come hang out with me and my friends. Can't wait to meet the rest of them. Sure, let's uh, stick around. It was slam poetry. It's chill. We all head outside and wait for more performance from the backstage. They slowly emerge and Teddy introduces me to Adeline, Ebo, and Kyla. It's great to meet you all. The performance was amazing. Let's grab some food. I, this is probably, like, this version of me is probably handling that situation a lot better than I ever would. Uh, let's grab some food. I know a good diner nearby. We all have a good food diner for a late night snack. I strike up a conversation with friends. How long have you been doing this? Uh, yeah, sure. Just ask them. Just keep it on topic. I literally just got on stage for the first time. Adeline shrugs. Everyone laughs. We get started in high school. The group forms up around me as we start, or as we continue walking. Oh, I squeeze my thigh. It's because I'm getting nervous. Ebo slides up next to me. Did you write a poem for Teddy? He's such a sucker for that. Uh. Uh, I've been working on one for a long time. I lie, blatantly. <laughs> He'll be eating out your palm, doll. Aaron squeezes in. Move over, Ebo. I met Scripps first. I hope he didn't mind my show commentary. Um, almost as good as the poetry. Sure. I gotta admit, my knowledge about slam um, poetry is not that much. We arrive at the diner and all take some seats in the big booth. The waitress comes over. Milkshakes and french fries, everyone? Get me in on that. Yeah, sure. I can actually even eat some of that. Teddy grabs a seat next to me. You're taking this all in stride, it's very cool. I know you probably wanted to uh, two on one time, but this just sh this just shows how interested I am. It's no problem, I like your friends. Maybe we'll get two on one later. Oh yeah, that, that, that would make it weird. My friends are still better. Uh, or it's no problem, I like your friends. My friends are still better, Amber headbutts Teddy. I put my hand on Teddy's thigh. Oh! I gotta be honest, folks, I would not have that confidence to put my hand on the table. Sure. Lame. Hmm. The fries and milkshake come, everyone rejoices. Kyla, remember when Ebo forgot their wallet here and it was a disaster? I don't know what anyone's talking about. 
Oh yeah, that's the thing, you, when there's always like a friend group and you don't really feel like you can participate. You said you started slamming in high school? My high school had a team and a friend made us try it out. I sip on my milkshake. This is very extensive. Teddy, come on, what do you think? Teddy gets involved in a separate conversation. Oh, this is not good. Oh well, I guess I'll go to the bathroom. I don't want to sit on my phone. The night gets late. Nice to meet you, Scripps. Good luck. Aaron and Ebo leave. Uh, uh, bye all. Oh, I should have said see you at the next performance. It's just me, Teddy, and Amber. I'm really glad you came out tonight. Uh, I always love seeing something artistic. Can I give you a little kiss? <gasps> sure. Kiss me right on my helmet. My on my like my my astronaut visor. He kisses my cheek. Get home safely. Nice to meet you. I depart. End date. Oh, that was sweet. That was so much more ex extensive than I thought it would be. First date. Yeah. Hi, Scripps. Amber and I had an incredible time meeting you. I don't think I'm looking for a romantic relationship with you, but I'm super down for friends. No! <laughs> God damn it, Jeremy. <sighs> Fine. I have to keep continue my search for love. Sylvia24. Caring and supportive and kind and passionate and ambitious. I only bite if you want. Oh, Jesus. That's also like a, a thing with like a lot of LGBT sites or LGBT sites can get sort of, um, sort of hook at or hookup app-ish, which is unfortunate. Oh, 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 no, no, that's long for- I have- I do not mean to be space racist, Mika, but you're literally long Furby. I cannot. My last relationship didn't work out because I was Pisces and he was a hoe. I am living my life so full of sharing glass and making sure I have no regrets. Total weirdo, but the kind you can like. See, that's that's a little, little, little basic. So for the personality here, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go for Esme, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Esme. What about this? Just like a kind, like, 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 yeah, yeah like a kind, funny, not, not just like a, a gross, flirty comment. I feel like that would be nice. I could also write the other people in the meantime, since I'm guessing they're not going to be immediate. Oh, wait, we got comments from Esme. Hello, Esme. Are you implying I said I was? Please don't guess my intentions. Ah! What? Are you implying I said that? What? 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 I'm blindsided. What? <laughs> oh god, the sweat. I can feel it setting. Um, uh, uh, huh? I don't mean I didn't mean to offend you, ma'am. Um, or, or, or I didn't mean to. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Okay, I'm gonna keep talking to Villa over here since they finally got back from the. I'm sorry, Esme. I didn't mean it in a bad way. My feelings are for me. Pe what is it with people on this app? They're so mean. The party I was at was wild. Well, uh, you have never been to such a wild party scripts. Obviously, my name is Will and my mom show. What is happening? Your mo she could do better. Oh, are we, ju are we just gonna throw some hands on Tinder? That's not what you're supposed to do on Tinder. <laughs> maybe, I should, maybe I should just, just maybe I should just write Samuel. Fine. Will you date me, an astronaut? Oh, it's just another ghost thing. God damn it. Ouch, I want you to get my mom out of your thoughts and mouth. She's a marvelous woman and she doesn't date down. You a big party per- <sighs> What? Oh, Esme wrote me back. <sighs> Sorry if I said something. I didn't mean to offend you, ma'am. Or not ma'am. It's okay, wanna hear a poem? Yeah, sure. You know what, sure. Let's recorrect it. I'm not looking to get- Fucking Christ, people are so mean. <laughs> What's with that? I thought this was gonna be tender. Tender, 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 like it's even it's even softer than Tinder. Tinder sounds like a hookup app and Tinder just sounds so much nicer, but it's not. Oh, 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 I thought the po- Oh, okay. I thought the poem was that, Never mind. <laughs> I, I thought the poem was that you were not looking to get critiqued. I'm so sorry. Um. I'm not looking to critique. Uh, please share. I won't judge. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I feel, Esme, you're not the kind of, you're not a very kind person, are you? I was really looking up to actually, you know, maybe having a hot cocoa with you someday. A mirror's like a second thought, peripheral candy in the rear mirror. We sing along, along to the summer album. That's actually not bad. First draft, huh? <laughs> I, I really appreciate your sharing. Uh, no, it's actually dope. I just actually want to say it's really dope. I know you're not looking to get critiqued, but okay, well, uh, nah, do you remember me? No, you look very familiar. 
Well, uh, you actually kind of do. Also, you're human. Maybe that's just why you look familiar in comparison to everyone else on here. You were a year above me in high school. I think we took world history together. Oh, well, what a small world it is. Uh, no, actually, uh, oh, no, I remember. Yeah, let's have an exclamation point. That seems nicer. How have you been? How have you been? Is what he means. Doing, um, doing really well these days. Sure. You ever miss high school? I do sometimes. Sometimes there was good stuff, sometimes there was bad stuff. Ah, well, do I want to be a fence rider the whole time? Nah, I don't want to go back to high school. I actually didn't mind high school. But that was like when I hadn't even transitioned yet. So I just, that's just, oh, I'm sorry, Samuel. Did that, did that, did that close your, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to not be a fence rider for once. I would say I actually didn't have any friends, but I had, I actually did have friends. But you know what, for the sake of it, I, I just, I'm just gonna write I didn't have friends, sure. Think between, uh, okay, lame. You sound super lame, but maybe I'll date you. I'm thinking between number one to three. I guess I'll talk again. Um, one? And then you, I guess you won't write me again, I guess, maybe. I don't know. Is that is that it? Maybe I'll date you? I'm just kidding. Nobody actually does that. I'll hit you up for a date. What the fuck? I guess this is some people's interpretation of, like, dating. Uh, like, there's some people that are just really teasing to, like, a new level. So I guess that makes sense. All right, I so saw you eating uh, lunch alone a lot. Yeah, I was the single imposter sitting at the table. No one, no one wanted to get near me. I have friends now, so yeah, things are different. People change, things change, circumstances change, and you feel better. Don't matter to me, nuh uh. Oh, that's nice. You always looked a little lonely. I would feel sad, but I agree. Why are we just talking about me feeling lonely now? I don't know. I don't pity myself. I was a lot quieter back then, but now I'm loud as fuck. I realized when, uh, what I had to offer to the world. Your big alm- oh my goodness. But it's a good thing you came into yourself, you know? It's good for you. I'm very happy for you. Did we ever hang out? I don't know. I- I don't know. I- I don't know if we did. We intersected at one- uh, at a, one party for a few minutes, but you wouldn't remember. It's cool that you remember me, though. I will say, Samuel, you've been one of the few people that have been somewhat nice to talk to. All the other people have been a little not nice. Or weird. I thought you were cute. Stop it. Take me out to reconnect or something. I'd love to catch up. Sure. That sounds great. Reconnecting with old people. That's something that I've done once or twice. Go on a date with Samuel. Sure. <laughs> yeah, for, and now I'm the one that's the, the odd one out. I'm the alien and, and you're just the, the regular cute boy. But sure, Samuel arrives at my house for dinner. I hear him knock on the door. I answer the door. Hmm. Hi, long time no see. Yes, a very long time. He embraces me. I hug him back. Yeah, don't hold your arms at the side. Welcome to my spaceship. This is my, or this is, or yeah, welcome to my spaceship. Not bad, I like the big window. Samuel wanders around gesturing. Have you ever considered moving out of your spaceship? Uh, it's better for my commitment issues. Oh no, easier to keep, uh, keep a small space clean. That's a good point. You save a killing on rent. He leans on my fridge. Uh, what's your place like? I'm just going with my gut on this one. I live in a two-bedroom apartment with a roommate. What's going to be for dinner? Have some pasta on the stove? Yeah, kale salad. That's a little, uh... He nods. I'm not a picky eater. Uh, yeah, you didn't specify anything. He shrugs. It's been so long. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Back in high school, did you eat in the cafeteria or go out for lunch? I would, uh... I went out for much lunch mostly. That's actually true. Lucky, I was always scribbling in the cafeteria corner. Paid off in the end, I guess. We sit down at a small, fold-out kitchen table. Uh, I put down two placemates. He puts his arms on the table. If you could redo high school, would you? Yeah, I would be confident. No one could touch me. It would be nice to have that feeling. You? Uh, I might want a second chance. Yeah, if I could redo it, then I probably would. Yeah. And I taking down high school. You, yeah, or you and I taking down high school. The power couple. He leans his head on his hand. I glance at his bulging bicep. Woo! I mean, sure. Did you date anyone in high school? I crushed. No one liked me back. I'm sure someone liked you. People like me now. How about you? Uh, I actually didn't. I actually didn't date because I went to like an almost all guys place where it just that didn't really happen. We both struck out. I'm starving. I serve the pasta. This is actually like a normal ish date. Hmm. He nods quickly. I have my ways. 
He gets himself a glass of water. He chokes it. I take small bites. Crazy how far we've both come. He looks at his fork. Crazy. Where I look at his fork. I had the biggest crush on you in high school. Sorry I didn't notice you. I wouldn't have either. He tilts his head. The spaceship makes a beeping noise. Oh, uh, ignore that. I always imagined you and I doing this in high school. Eating dinner on a spaceship? No ship. He rolls his shoulders. Have I lived up to the expectations? He picks at his, at his food for a minute. No. Oh. Sorry to disappoint you. No, no, I'm sorry you don't understand, or uh, don't misunderstand me. It's not about you. I thought this moment would feel, um, triumph. Oh, no, am I gonna get rejected again? Triumph over what? Myself. Me. Loser me, lo longing me, life would go away, I'd feel complete. I don't know what I'm really saying. It's not you, I promise. Hmm, because you finally got something you wanted? He nods his head. He puts his head in his hands. I gently touch his shoulder. Ooh, I don't know. This is this is this making me feel very teenagery. I gather the dishes from the table. His shoulder tenses. Oh, I wanted to feel good about myself. I've done this too. He sighs and puts his hand down. Uh, if it makes you feel any better, I'm a loser too. God damn, this game is actually getting surprisingly deep. No, you're okay, Scripps. He starts to laugh. I laugh too. I'm gonna head out. Uh, this was enough high school reunion. Or, I don't know, I don't think he's gonna say yes to anything else. I shouldn't have used my own name. You could stay. Looks up at me. Oh, Jesus, Christmas. I swallow, he turns his whole body towards me. Or it could stay, he turns off the light. End date! Did it win the win? Samuel, get back to me. Did we did it did did, did did we win? Have I won? I don't agree to why with why you met me, but I'm open to trying again. Is that what I should say? I mean he did kinda wanna use me in a, in a way, I don't know. Is he willing? I don't know. Is that good? I don't know. <laughs> I really just wanted to prove you would want me now, and I did. Later. <sighs> is it hopefully this isn't meant in a bad way. Is that it? Did that it? oh is that it? Is that the end of it? Is that the end of all things? I think it might be. Gosh damn. But anyways, peeps, that's all the time I've got for Tender. This game is something else. Um and in terms of like I I've seen a bunch of different like games that have used this formula where just basically the game takes place on a phone. And I will say this one might be one of the most realistic ones. Like, like, even if it's just all selected text you can do, I still feel like it makes so much sense. I made a bad move here, and Penny just did not write me back, and I think that makes sense. And people just randomly ghost to times, and I think that also happens as well. Get out of here, Willow, you're just bullying me. But yeah, don't actually mind it. The dialogue is very sweet, it's well written, and I actually feel like it sort of gets deep into it. Uh, I don't know if, it, if there's actually, I guess there must be, like, written a date scene for every single one of these, if you can get it on a date with everyone. I don't know if it's scripted that you're just doomed to be ghosted by some of them, that might be the case. But yeah, I feel like this game emulated it pretty well. So you know what? Good on you, Tender. Good on you, Tender. You you emulated the horror of real life swipe dating uh, very well. Very good, good job. But anyways, peeps, please remember to leave a like down below. Let me know what pivots to your interest. Remember to hit that subscribe button as well because it keeps me going even when the going does get tough. Thank you all so much for watching and I catch you all in the next one. Peace.